Hey guys, it's Steph here again today, and today I have an original tag for you. Um, I just made it shortly before I did this video. Um, I put it into my YouTube journal, um, and it is 15 questions, and it is called the Pen Pal Tag. I searched all over YouTube, and every time I found a Pen Pal Tag, it was just somebody saying, Hey, I want a Pen Pal. Will you be my Pen Pal? But this one is more in-depth pen pal-like stuff. So here we go. There are 15 questions, like I said, so here we go. Number one, where are you from? I am from Morgantown, West Virginia. Uh, number two is where do you want pen pals from? Um, in all honesty, I don't care where I have pen pals from. I love learning different cultures and things. So, you know, I would be a pen pal with somebody in Asia or in India or Australia or anything like that. Um, number three is, where do you have pen pals from? Um, just off the top of my head, I have one from Michigan, one from Kansas, uh, one from Massachusetts, one from Canada, one from Arizona, um, I have one from Ireland, I have one from Australia, I have, like, three from California, I have one from Florida, I have two from Kentucky, I have one from New York, and I have one from Europe. So, yeah, I have quite a few pen pals. Some of them don't write me anymore, though, so it's kind of sad that I don't talk to them anymore, but oh well. Um, number four is how much is postage per letter where you're from? Um, postage per letter, it determines, because if it's a regular letter to somebody in the United States, it's 49 cents. It used to be 46 cents. And if it's to somebody um, out of the U.S., it's a dollar fifteen, I believe. So, um, number five is show us your favorite pen slash pens to write with when writing letters. Um, I have a set of these pens here. If you guys can see them, they come in all different colors, and they have this really, um, you know, thin point to it. Um, so I really like to use them, and I have one of every color, and I have two sets of it, but these are just a few. These are my favorite pens to write with. Number six is, how long is an acceptable first letter in your opinion? Um, a first letter, you know, there's really no right or wrong way to write a first letter, um, but I think the whole front of one page would be good enough um, to tell people about you and, you know, get to know, you know, ask them questions and that kind of stuff. How long of letters do you usually write? Um, it all depends. If it's my first letter, it's usually about a page and a half, so like front page and then half of the back. Um, if it's like a letter to somebody that I already wrote to, it could be as long as three or four or five pages. So yeah, it all depends. Um, do you want to exchange goodies or have you exchanged goodies? Goodies meaning stickers, postcards, um, washi tape, pictures from where you're from, that kind of stuff, and I have, and yes, I do enjoy doing that. Um, I like to send at least some stickers in every envelope, um, unless I can't, or unless I just don't feel like the per that person and I are at that stage yet. I know it sounds really funny, but um, I like to send at least something. Stickers on the sides of the letters or no? Um, I really don't care either way. Like, I like when people decorate the letters so it makes it more enjoyable to read. Um, so I guess stickers would be okay. Number 10 is show us how you store your letters. Right now, I just have them in this little, um, S, um, monogram, I think is how you say it, um, notebook. I'm hoping to get... Um, like one of those expand folders to put all of them in per state or per friend or, you know, however I can do it. Number 11 is show us your stamps. Um, let me work through here a little bit and see if I can find my stamps. Right now, all I have are these poinsettia ones from Christmas. Um, they have not gotten good stamps in at my post office yet. They still have the Christmas stamps. So those are my Christmas stamps. Um, number 12 is show us a few of your letters. I'm not going to be able to show you many of them because some of them, you know, I have, um, you know, I'll just do this. I have a letter, I don't care if you see my address, but I don't want you to see hers. 
I have this letter, which I really, really like, how she decorated the outside with um, the washi tape and how she did my name. And then you have these ones that are from my cousin Andy I get every once in a while. They're just plain letters. He usually sends about two letters per one. And Savannah sends me these kind of little things. She sent me a little teapot card with a little letter inside of it. Um, this one's really cute. This is from Jennifer. Um, she put a little stamp right here and put little stamps on the back. And it's like a, it's like a um, green envelope, which I think is really cool. But other than that, I mean, the rest of them are pretty basic. They're just white. I have lots and lots and lots of them. Um, some people send me stuff that is called, they call it Happy Mail instead of like Pen Pal stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, do you have anything from other countries? If so, show us. I've only had one pen pal from another country um, besides Canada that sends me things that are in her language. Um, I, she sent me a Christmas swap and I kept the um, envelope because right here you can see it's in, um, you know, her language here. Um, And I really, really like how it's in, you know, her language. And she sent me this thing from where she's from. It's like a little informational booklet. And, um, you know, of course I can't read it, but I really think it's neat. It's in her language. And it has these little pictures here. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. She sent it to me. I absolutely love it. And also she sent me a chocolate bar from up there. Um, the brand is called Milka. It was kind of good, but it was really, really rich, so. Uh, number 14 is, do you use any special stationery? Um, usually I don't, but I do have some stationery. Like, I have this, which I haven't even opened yet. Um, and I have, like, ones that are just, um, like, have little sheep at the corner and that kind of stuff, so. Okay, and number 15 is, tag somebody that you wish to do this. Um, and honestly, I don't know how many of you guys out there have pen pals. Um, so if you guys have a pin pile, please do this tag. That would be awesome to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.